three, three to 24. Unfortunately, Portland quickly pushed it back up to a double-digit cushion and uh, continued to keep Minnesota at arm's length. Wancho misfires at a right angle three here. Ten-point Blazer lead. Lillard off the high screen by Cantor. Gets downhill by Towns. Layup good. He drew the foul. Three-point opportunity for Damian Lillard. It's going to be six straight points as Lillard is a 94% free throw shooter. Yeah, he knocked down the free throw. Uh, three of his ten first half points. Kind of kept in check, uh, at least offensively, but he was the facilitator for most of that first half. He led the way with a game-high eight assists, just two of six from the field, but uh, don't sleep on him. It only takes a little bit for him to get cooking. So Minnesota trailing there, and really for much of that second frame, this game kind of just slowed down to a crawl. Not a lot of rhythm, uh, certainly not a lot of sustained rhythm. We had two different review stoppages that took a while. Lots of free throws attempted in this first half by both teams, and it wasn't until late in that first half that you thought Maybe Minnesota able to take a little momentum into the locker rooms. Back to the right side. Here's Ricky. Across the paint. Back to Towns. Towns up takes. Drives into the paint. Zips it off to McDaniels. Wide open for the two-handed flush. Nice recognition by Carl Anthony Towns. 60-53. to 53. Timberwolves have climbed to within seven. Yeah, one of two first-half assists for Cat there. Wolves got as close as six a couple different times but Portland able to nudge it back to nine with a Robert Covington triple. It is 66-57 at the halftime break. Carl Anthony Towns leads the way for the Wolves with 15 points on five of 12 shooting. He is matched by his Portland counterpart, center Ennis Cantor. He had 15 as well to go along with six rebounds, and we told you Damian Lillard with 10. Carmelo Anthony off the bench also with 10. Minnesota, Ricky Rubio nearly into double figures. He's got nine to go along with four rebounds and four dimes. Meanwhile, the shooting department, that goes the way of the Portland Trailblazers. They shot 50% from the field in that first half and very efficient from the free throw line, 7 of 18. Uh, excuse me, 17 of 18 from the charity stripe that helped offset a rather poor three-point shooting first half for Portland. 5 of 19, that's a 26% clip uh, it'd be, you know, sort of playing with fire to expect Portland to continue the poor three-point shooting into the second half. They are a very good three-point shooting team. We told you the biggest lead for Portland was 13. Meanwhile, Minnesota just a lead very early in the game. They trailed for much of the rest of the first half. At the break, 66-57 is your halftime score. Reminder, halftime show brought to you by the Minnesota Lottery. If you are game for a little excitement, just say, I'm in and play the Minnesota Lottery today. So the Wolves trail by nine at the break here. We'll come back and update some other scores around the rest of the association. You're listening to the XL Energy Timberwolves Radio Network. This is Ethan Casson, CEO of the Minnesota Timberwolves and Lynx. Like many of you, we rely on Loeffler Companies, Minnesota's office technology and managed services leader for our copying and printing needs. We appreciate Loeffler's knowledge, flexibility, and world-class service that is always quick and professional. But did you know that Loeffler also provides managed IT services, phone systems, managed print services, and on-site managed services for copy centers and mailrooms? Call Loeffler, your most valuable partner for innovative business technology and managed services. Bam! The 